Rock and Pop Stories. Cat Stevens, Father and Son, 1970. A special character in our music history, Stephen Demetre Giorgio, his real name, has a Swedish mother and a Greek Cypriot father, a beautiful combination that gives this cat-eyed boy, according to a girlfriend, hence his nickname Cat. He works as a waiter in the family restaurant, but dreams of nothing more than being a singer and musician. He strummed his guitar in pubs at night and, at 17, landed a meeting with producer Mike Hurst, who, impressed by his early songs, got him a record deal on the Derham label. He went on to make two highly successful albums, surrounded by renowned musicians such as John Paul Jones, future Led Zeppelin and Nicky Hopkins, regular pianist with the Stones, among others. But at the end of 68, Cat Stevens contracted tuberculosis, which kept him away from the studio for a year. On his return in 1970, he pulled out all the stops with two consecutive albums, Mona Bone Jackson and Tea for the Tillerman, which included Father and Son. This song, written during his convalescence, was intended for a musical he was working on, Revolucia, set during the Russian Revolution. Written for a musical, the song has an unusual structure. There is no chorus, but to provide a hook, The parts where the son responds to his father are sung louder. To try and get Revolucia produced, Cat met Chris Blackwell, Ireland's boss. Listening to the songs, Blackwell was not at all interested in the show, but thrilled by father and son and Cat Stevens' work as a whole. So it was on Ireland that his two albums of 70 were released with new producer Paul Samuel Smith, ex Yardbirds. Father and Son was not released as a single but went on to enjoy a long career. In 95, a boy band, Boyzone, covered Father and Son, which became a huge hit throughout Europe, putting Cat Stevens' name back in the spotlight. In the meantime, he had disappeared, having embraced the Muslim religion in 1977 and taken the name of Yusuf Islam. Applying a rather rigorous Islam, he gave up music, unless it was religious. Father and Son pursued him, Since in 2001, the producers of the film Moulin Rouge wanted to use him for their film, but Kat Youssef refused, as the film contradicted his religious principles. It's interesting to note that the family restaurant was called Le Moulin Rouge. Finally, in 2004, ex-boy's own Ronan Keating re-recorded Father and Son as a duet with Kat Stevens, and the song climbed to the top of the UK charts. But that's another rock and roll story. <laughs> 